This is Star Fox 64 randomized. I was thinking, how is this going to work? And um, there's options, and we'll go through them. But it seemed cool. Uh, some of you know Star Fox 64 is a pretty... Uh, we need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared What was that? War. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. Oh. Uh, so you can randomize music and audio as well. But I was going to say, Star Fox 64 is a game I spent many, many hours of my life playing. And, um... You know, I just, I love it. It's so fun. So, we're gonna randomize planets. Allow same planets? That seems kind of dumb. Uh, maybe off? Randomize... Engine color? Yeah. Music on. Random portraits, random dialogue. Map colors? Maybe same planet with different items. So let's try it then. It's a default option. There's endurance mode, protect the targets, marathon mode, boss rush. And bonus stage. So that we can check out later. Um, miscellaneous options, choose planets, debug mode, rainbow bombs, one hit KO, all medals and expert. Quick score screens, um, extra star wolves. Oh. Uh, you know what? This seems pretty cool. Corneria, fourth planet Music is already randomized. System. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful This audio was found uncompressed by the way. The barren, deserted planet Venom. In the uh, Giga Leak Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McCloud, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox Pigma team... Pigma Dangar, what a name that is. I love that name. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed you the were, team. You Pigma! And James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely Pepper. escaped Venom. Well, you know the story, I'm sure. Oh, man. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I didn't even realize there was that flashing in this game. It's about time you but it looks like that is a thing that happens in this game. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Someone said they should really boot, reboot Star Fox 64. I think they should several more times, in fact. Like three or four more times they should re-release this game in some form or another, yeah. Or just remake it without calling it a remake. And just add terrible controls. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Here we go. Oh. Well, for a random portrait, that's pretty... Only I have the <laughs> Peppy, no! Peppy, why you? <laughs> Chat, hang on a minute. I have something is not bound properly. Hang on. It's... I can see the, the, the colors are getting w uh, wacky. Um, it wouldn't let me boost or slow. So let's... Uh, oh, it's the C button. Okay. Um, shit. Let me find out what does what and I'll bind it properly. Hang on. I will not be defeated so by this down. War. Up is... Okay. Left. Left is boost. Down is break. So we're going to just rebind those real quick. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's see if this works for me. Boy, what a start. Man, we're doing this fucking level to start? 
Like, man, I've had zero chance here to uh, relearn how to play the game. Peppy, that's not true. And that's Fox. That's not even Peppy. Uh, it's, it's too hot. Light bomb indicators at 12 o'clock. Ah! Grant one boat. Yeah, Andros is on our team. I can see the look on this stupid face. Hang on, I'm having one more issue slightly. I need to rebind one more thing. Because, um, it's the, the, the barrel rolls. We can... I swear, I'm, we're going to move past this chat and we're going to actually play the game in just a moment. Left shoulder, that's the one we need. Yes. I saw my life flash before my eyes! How about this? <laughs> so this is going to get real wacky real quick. Seconds, Not wrong, by the way. Where's Star Fox? I just received an R Wing repair kit. There's some sort of energy reaction. Recover our base from the enemy army. Chat, this is ridiculous. I know, I Okay, we got a checkpoint. Star Wolf again. Missile approaching. When you say shit like missile approaching, I'm gonna check for a missile. Sorry guys, I gotta pick this one out. Bill, you're not even here. <laughs> what is Bill doing here? Famous Star Fox team member, Bill the Dog. Andros' enemy is my enemy. Step on the gap. <laughs> yeah. Watch out, Fox! What are you doing? It's too dangerous there. The music is a lot more chill now. We're back to Corneria music. That extra life would have been nice to get. Ah! I got one! Got one what? Okay, well the good news is it's just giving extra lives like crazy, so... I, Chad, did I set a random item button? I don't even remember. I did. Oh man, okay. Th this level is just kind of like this. It's true. What was the name of the option? One more to go. Oh! It's almost over. We're in your debt. Come back in one piece. Random <laughs> drops on kill. Oh, okay. This may seem rather quaint at the moment, chat, but this shit was, like, the most amazing things we had ever seen in 1997. I'm out of here. Whoa, why are you sounding sexy all of a sudden? 
the fuck, dude? Peppy, what's going on? Yeah, the random item thing uh, maybe is a little bit, a little bit too much. I see your father in your box. Thanks, Slippy. Oh, the somersault. Yeah. You still died twice. I did die twice. That, to be fair though, this level is a kind of a bitch. Rocks and N64 games are indistinguishable from meatballs. We can catch up later, Fox. <laughs> hey, see if I help you again. You again? Oh. Data analysis complete. Here it comes. This is a very silly team. It's a surprise anyone in the galaxy ever gets saved. Uh, oh, we're, um, I guess we're here, going there. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox. Yeah, the planet You'll is called Macbeth. Kid, General. I knew Macbeth and Star Fox before I knew Macbeth Shakespeare. This isn't Macbeth, this is Sector Z, okay. I won't let you get away from me! I can't stop it! <laughs> back to back worst levels, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know what? No, I don't I don't hate this one. Let's see what we got. This one was kind of fun for just pure dog fighting. Man, this game still holds up. Like, it's still fun to play. It's hard to get a medal in this level. Yeah, that, I remember having trouble with that. Bill, you're okay. It's all coming down to this. Good one, Grandrod. So chat, oh, um, one more thing I wanted to mention on stream, as I've mentioned it before, but in case anyone's missed it. Um, so, next card sauce, there should be some interesting cards. Oh, hang on a second, chat. I think I don't have true analog. Um, hang on. I, I always forget how to do that in BizHawk. Uh... How how do I how do I do that, chat? Do I just have to clear the the mapping? Yeah, now I've got nothing. Now I've got nothing. Um, yeah, I wasn't getting any small movements. It's just full movement. Does anyone know how to get that in Bizhawk? Illusion of real N64 ruined uh, analog controls. Oh, right. Okay, hang on. Let me let me get rid of this then. All right, let's see. Uh, y axis, X axis. Y axis. Much better. Stand. 
I'm hit! Missile approaching. Distance 20. You trying to damage my pretty face? No, no, Peppy, I'm not. I wouldn't dream of it, Peppy. Don't go too fast, Falco! I got a bad feeling about this box. So, I was gonna say, if you have any, um, card ideas for the next card sauce, please let me know. Even where to buy them is fine, you don't have to send them to me. But specifically, weird blind boxes. I have, like, 12 or more at the moment. And I could use more. Like, just, if you know where to find any strange or terrible or, um, I'd like, funny blind boxes, so I can uh, buy a couple for the stream, let me know. Great, now let's get back to the game. You're not as stupid as you. All right. A bomb has been planted at the base. System ten, unable to evade. Proceed the bomb. Ah. Who took this base? Keep an eye on your shield gauge. Everything's so random. Oh, uh, and again, if you want to contact me at vinesauce.email, go through the contact form uh, for the blind box and card suggestions. I, I appreciate that very much, chat. I've already gotten a couple. He can sure be a pain in the neck. This can't be happening! Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, the sun is good. I'm going down! Give me Flippy's location, Rob. Sometimes you just gotta fly into a missile. Why is it red? The red fox. Shoot the eight switches to open the lock! Not yet. The party's just begun. Someone says, does this not have an enemy randomizer? I thought it did. Move it, Fox! He's right behind you! These guys don't quit! How does it, this randomizer work? Um, there's just a number of options. There's a planet randomizer, there's obviously music and voice lines are randomized. There's the, uh, I have an item randomizer on. You can customize it a bunch. Uh, random enemies would be amazing, but it, I don't clearly have that on at the moment. If it exists, it may not. It's almost. It's all. Sector X. You're not as tough as I thought. I've got the left. You get the right, man. I do love this music. This is one of those just like, for me, it's like a classic soundtrack. But Nintendo, like, really needed to start doing new things with Star Fox. And they just apparently didn't know how to. Assault is pretty good. Uh, Adventures is not even a Star I'm Fox game, as far as I'm concerned, but it's still not terrible. Uh, people give that game a lot of shit, 
and it's got problems, and I probably will never play it again, but I remember I enjoyed my first playthrough somewhat. Never played Star Fox Command. The Wii U version was, um, unfortunate. I want to rebind one more thing. I'm not going to even say it was bad, because it had a lot of stuff going for it, but I would love to see a version of that game that is just Star Fox. Like, without the, the gimmicky shit. Which they never will do, I don't think. We'll never see that. Um, I need to change one more bind. So I need this to be the... Hmm. B button? X? No, so X, and then this is... That. So that way I can break and shoot at the same time. Yep. Your skills have improved, Fox. Yeah, uh, Assault is my... Second or third favorite Star Fox game. The, the only reason the first game isn't higher... You know what? Star Fox 1 is my second favorite game for nostalgia reasons, even if it hasn't aged well. It's... It's great. Too bad, little man. It's clunky and, and still fun, though. All but, like, especially if away. you do the 60 FPS patch. But Assault is really good. And like, oh wow, it's a new story. <laughs> they tried to do something different. Venom, here we come. And then um, they did Star Fox 64 on the 3DS, which I played. The, they got the actors to re-record their voice lines. Bill! Bill! But, you know, like, when, when you have lines that are just so ingrained in your brain, in the, in the brainstem... Well, fuck that up. Go for the death! I forgot how many shots it takes to open those up. This one's different. This is like a, a bonus. This is a secret, chat, for those that don't know. this. If you do this, that's a secret. No! I, I, and yet, I still tried to get the secret, even though I failed at it. You do have to get all of them. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oh boy, I'm fighting the boss with a missing wing. I'm going up. It's good. Good for you. I'll go it alone from here. You're becoming a better pilot. <laughs> thanks, thanks for off the robot. The real vehicle. Vehicle. Here they come. Speaking of Rob. There you go. You're becoming a better pilot. Ooh. Are you okay? Maintenance complete on Falco ship. Uh, cool. Good for good for Falco. The shield is gone. Shoot the core. It's already dead, man. Unless you're the best, Slippy. You've become quite a pilot. I don't know what Slippy has to do with this, but incoming. It's always nice to be nice to your friends, so why not? You did it. I was worried for a moment. That you is quick. They've broken through the first line. <laughs> I got the last one! Wait, does that mean that Slippy's gone forever now? You guys don't give up! So, if we don't go to the next mission to save Slippy... You're not as stupid as... Shoot him down! We're being marked! The, the randomizer's gonna be weird, because we don't... 
they we may not rescue. Up. There's not much time left. Hurry! Hurry! Someone just said maybe the idiot can stay there. Listen, it is frog season, and I know we like to joke about Slippy being kind of the annoying Star Fox character, but, but, but... What are you doing? You it's never dangerous leave someone behind. I can't uh, leave Slippy hanging. Unless you do, which we're probably going to. Uh... Chat, this is the same level. <laughs> this time without Slippy. You're not leaving yet. Yeah, no shit we're not leaving yet. Apparently we're here forever. I could use some help here, Fox. I'm beating up pretty fast. These are what I like to call the Independence Day ships. Because this game came out a couple years after Independence Day was this massive success, and it even had a mission that was similar to Independence Day. And um th those ships were in that level, so I always wondered if the developers were like design the ships to look like that. Great Man, if I had a fucking... If I had a bomb right now. Yeah. This music loop, by the way, is only supposed to play for like a couple seconds. I could use some help here, Fox. Ah! I'm going right. I'm gonna try to go left for the warp, which doesn't even make a difference now that I think about it. It matters none. I'm going it. I think I just killed Peppy by accident. Wait, no, I definitely killed Peppy. Stuck by Peppy's We actually need to use the brake. One. Two. Three. That thank you for that random message. It's very encouraging to know the great fox is okay. That shield is absorbing the laser. There we go. I always thought this was the coolest shit ever. It's like Stanley Tubrick. So, um, McDonald's is now, like, doing these ads on podcasts I listen to where they have, like, you know, pre-recorded, like, um, ads where the, the podcaster doesn't read them. And I don't know why, but, like, the, the person who's reading the ad says McDonald's in a way that makes me think he's saying McDanish. And I know he's not. I know it's not that. But, like, once in a while, like, I play it back in my mind because I heard it so many fucking times by now. And I'm just hearing, come to Danuge. And I'm like, why don't, yeah, that's, that's a good, they should just call it that. Like, I had, like, a fever dream, um, daydream kind of thing where I was thinking about how they renamed to Danuge. Come to Danuge for a nice big burger bear. 
You can get burger fry and McBeef patty. Only at Danush. I'm like, I'll I'll do it. I'll do an ad for McDonald's if they if they want me to. But I have to do I have to say it exactly like that. Otherwise I won't do it. McBurger fry or McBeef patty only at Danuge. Better do do do. Also, I love. Oh! I love that. Um. I love that McDonald's is supposed to be like the cheap option, and their dollar menu is like three fifty for like the cheapest chicken sandwich. Like if you go to Danuj, you're gonna spend. I don't know if this is a regional, like just New York thing, or whatever, but you're gonna spend like I don't know, thirteen bucks. McDouble is like five bucks here. Oh, sick. Only at Danu. The enemy army is gunning for you. Be careful. Don't worry, sir. So I'm probably, like, for me, it's a very rare occasion these days that I go like for fast food. But if for thirteen bucks, you may you may as well just get like a. Uh, Let's go someplace a little little bit better, you know? We need you to spe uh, spell Danuj. Only at McDanuj. I got the last one! D O D D A N You've become quite a pilot. G E Or D O N U J E. D A N O U R J E. Stick to the pond, froggy. Stick to the pond, froggy. Yeah, but this is this is where randomized enemies would be great for this because um. Data analysis complete. Here it comes. Yeah, because we're on, like, level one. Now, picture level one with, like, weird... And I mean, I'm sure that would be a tough thing to code. Wait a minute, this isn't... Give me location, Where's Bob? the whole segment with the, the water? Oh wait a minute! No, I'm, my, I'm never mind. Later, that's later. I'm dumb. I thought that started the level for some reason. I, jeez, for all the times I've played this. But yeah, I don't know like how easy it would be to replace enemy with another enemy because these are like specifically designed formations. I'll be there too. Is that any way to greet a girl? Let <laughs> me confirm. Oh. Oh, those frame rates. They're framing. Even the original uh, didn't quite have the frame rates like this. I don't know what's going on. We're getting close to the base. I thought it was nice that that sign. Oh, ah, it said good luck. I can't break free. Like someone in their building in Corneria City was watching all this unfold. This is what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know why I thought this was the beginning of the level. That's kind of good job. Keep up the fight. Kind of silly. your own target, Fox. I am. That shield is absorbing the laser. 
when um, the N64 first came out, Pilot Wing 64 and Mario 64 were obviously in heavy rotation on my N64 because that's, you know, the two games that were out. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Um, I desperately wanted Star Fox 64. So I would play Pilot Wing 64 and pretend it was Star Fox. I'd be like in the gyrocopter and I would just shoot random things and be like, Star Fox is out. It's not, it wasn't out. True story, you can't break your wings on water in this game. I must be complete. That's cool, Fox. You'll be seeing your dad. Oh. Hurry, boss. I'm waiting for you. I'm going up. What a swamp. They're on me. I'm getting killed. We can catch up later, Fox. All range mode. I would be honored to have you as. <laughs> I like how Slippy's still talking. He's not even here. Well, he's attempting to talk. He's, he's typing. He's typing. Slippy looking a look little different these days. I'm glad we're on the same team, Fox. You're not leaving yet. Slippy, watch out. Don't be on your tail. Sloppy. Sloppy frog. Oh, Beef McPatty. Chopper attack? Yeah, I played that too. Chopper attack was okay. It was it was a little shit. It was. Here it comes. Okay. Great fuck. It wasn't like the it was it was janky, but you know what? It was fun for its time. And it was um, cool to play as different helicopters. It was like the, the helicopter equivalent of Battle Tanks. Which, Battle Tanks was, was a game that I loved. The second one in particular, I played that endlessly. It's a surprise, like, Night Dive having figured out how to get the rights to that, or, or you know, someone bring Battle Tanks back. And no, I'm not talking about World of Tanks, save 15% on your tank and get, you know, me as a commander or anything like that. You know what I mean? No, I'm talking about battle tanks. Just pure arcade tank fighting. It's a waste of a bomb. I'm going right! The thing I loved about battle tanks was every tank had something like, they, they were all pretty drastically different, for the most part. And, um... The Rhino tank had, like, uh, armor in the front. But it was vulnerable more on the back and, and like, some of the sides. But it had, like, a... It was, like, you couldn't even swivel the turret. And then there was, like, a little fellow that was real fast. It wasn't even really a tank, but it was, you know... It had treads. Another Independence Day kind of thing. That shield. This mission's cool. I know that for you. But yeah, the N64 had a lot of games that looked like shit. No! Get out of my way! But we love them. 
There's some games that look pretty good. I still think Banjo Kazooie looks very Where reasonable. But, um. You know. Hey, Bob. It was kind of hard to see what you were shooting at sometimes, uh, but that's okay. We, you know, we, we lived with what we could. Stick around for a while. Good luck, Pop. Obviously, Paper Mario aged well. We've had this discussion plenty, but anyway, um, another one was Army Men Sarge's Heroes. Use the tentacles to open the floor. That one I played a bunch. Uh, rent, that was Rental. Battle Tanks I owned. Chopper attack was a rental. I thought I just heard the Fledge noise from uh, my corruptions where Fledge was like, oh! I don't think I heard that. All units report. I'll take care of you. I think people would be... Ah, oh, wrong button. I think people would be fine with another traditional Star Fox game. Let's take them all out! Especially on, the, on a system like the Switch, or, you know, well, specifically the Switch because of its install base, I think it would sell very well. I don't know, Wolf McCloud. What's his name? Wolf Dengar? <laughs> no, what's what's his name? Last name? Wolf. Who are you guys? Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Wolf O'Donnell, played by Jerry O'Connell. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Some of the complaints that Zero is too similar to 64. Well, it's the same story is the problem. It's going through the same beats. Alright. I guess we're gonna do this again. So here's my ideal Star Fox game. Fox, we're under attack. Help us out here. Um... Have it be similar to 64, with a lot of its, like, just basic flying mechanics, using a controller, maybe gyro, optional. Have different ships, and maybe parts that you could add to your ships. Nothing too crazy. Can be kind of light. Nuke on L? What level is this? Chat, this is a, the training level. But why is it... Okay, this is... I think Randomizer is going mental right about now. But yeah, different characters, different types of ships, kind of like Star Fox 2. You can do some stuff with strategy like Command, but keep the, the game mostly in the air. Maybe Landmaster and Air, and that's fine. I think that, that should be... In my opinion, that's enough. And then you can, yeah, have, like, challenges, maybe an online multiplayer mode. But, um, yeah, different ship parts, different types of weapons, and, like, a lot of different levels. You can even throw some roguelite, like, randomized, not fully randomized, but, like, random enemies on some levels for, like, experience points or whatever. I don't know if Nintendo wants to go that far away from the arcade quality. But the thing is, the gameplay is so good. It's why I replayed this game, like... 70 times when I was younger. I just enjoyed shooting and flying, and it, I thought it was really great. Still do. Still fun. So I kind of feel like you can do something like that and just tell a new story, introduce some new characters, new enemy, new, new you know, Andros doesn't have to be the boss again. Time to show the monkeys who's boss. But yeah, like an online dogfight mode would add a lot of replayability. There's... A, chat, there's a million Star Wolves.
And I think half of them are following my sh my R wing right now. Yeah, they're. Yep. Do I have an objective? Nuke on L. What is L? L is real. Well, we're going to find out in a second what this mission was, because it's about to end. Yeah, Cat and Bill are here as well, yeah. That might have been my fault. Sorry about that. Wait a minute. No. Val, Slip, and Pep have a lot of HP. I think that was just a bonus mission, just for fun. is a cool mission. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> this thing will never hold together. Try a U turn. Ah. Ah. I know. Didn't I have like 12 lives? Why is it back down to 4? I didn't, want, I didn't watch Smiling Friends yet, chat. These guys don't quit. Ah! I will. I just haven't had a chance. I've been. This week has been a lot so far. God damn. Andress. Is it because you did a character for season two? I wish. No, genuinely, I I would love to be on Smiling Friends, but no. Ah! I didn't get the one up. They're not taking me seriously. Happy! Watch out, Fox! Incoming enemy missile! That's not even real. Destroy the satellite core! Slippy hanging. <laughs> Says Slippy to himself. Bill, you're okay. There's one down. I shoot his underwear off. Cool. Oh no, by then it's much too late. The clothes have rotted no! off. I've seen everything. I've seen it all. That was back in my coon cave in the academy. Oh yes. Sir? Mr. Wolf, where did you get that scar? In combat, sir. Marvelous, Mr. Wolf. Marvelous. I'm going down. 
Sir, would you like me to tell you about the blue hollow plastic barrel? Yes, Mr. Wolf. It's not a Star Trek skit, unless it's the same bit over and over again. Mr. Riker, have I ever told you about my coon cave? I found the bioweapon. Hey, we got Enemy down. We got Wait, some problems here. Trying to I just let that happen. Come on, Falk, you can do it. Don't be doing anything foolish. Says Fox to himself. about that, Star Wolf. Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Huh. Shoot the tentacles to open the door! Who said that, Andros? Okay. Enemy fighters coming at you, Fox. We were so close to Ben. I like how I just hit like everything on the way in there. about your own hide. Your father helped me like that too. Appropriate time to talk about that. You know, in the venom hole. Thought I was a goner. No, ah! ah, my wings is gone. You'll be a pain in the neck. Hang on, guys. Help is on the way. Since rebinding the buttons, I have press the wrong buttons even more than before I bound them correct the way I like them. This was cool on the N64, but the one problem is you didn't get to pinch the face. Also, the hand is in, like, kind of an awkward spot. Doesn't make it easy to, uh... Just stay in one place and shoot. Mm. Kind of. Kind of do it. You have to position yourself. You have to assume the position! I think this is brainless, Andros, if I'm not mistaken. Well.
I don't think I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, we survive. We survive. This was a waste of a bomb. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, man. The bomb would have been good for the items. Why did I... Ah! Oh. Alright, well... Well, there you go. Broken-ass, busted-ass R-Wing. Yeah, this is, this is the fake version of Andros. Uh, it just randomly took me here. The bomb usually makes him eat it. Yeah, I remember that. And you don't even have to, like, escape from this one. This one, it just lets you escape the sphincter automatically. A sphincter is not necessarily an asshole, chat. It's like a real term. I will not be defeated by this worm. I'm going ahead. Back me up, Buck. Like the thing in Egypt? No. Sphincter. The, a ring of muscles surrounding and serving to guard the close and opening. In serving to guard or close an opening or tube, such as the anus. Well, okay, no, it's it's generally. Referring to an asshole. Alright, never mind then. Your eyes are sphincters? Hey, who are you calling sphincter eyes? Yes, you can hear the Ocarina of Time midis, the samples. I did want to at least check out a couple of the other options. Someone just said, you have the most beautiful sphincters. Imagine that on a date. Like, everything's going great, and at the end of the night, you're like, you know, you've got the most beautiful sphincters I've ever seen. Someone said it would work on me. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Have you seen other sphincters? Okay, this is a bad conversation now because it's getting way off topic, which was, for, I just wanted to let you know that you could fly out of that portal, out of that, that hole. Definitely not the Star Fox team plastered against the JPEG. They could find a better room for this. Man, there's just no end to these guys. Uh -huh. Use the boost to get through. Yeah, Rick May is peppy. Do a barrel roll. Say it. Where is the creator? Oh. Scratch one boat.
Where are they running? I think they're running to their ships. But maybe it's a little too far. They really do have robotic legs. Well, yeah, the G-forces make all their blood go to their legs, but if they cut their legs off and they wear robot legs, it circumvents that problem and they can handle the, uh, the R-wing. Yeah, G-diffusers, my ass. They had to cut their legs off, everybody. <laughs> they had to! Because it's cooler. That's right. The G diffuser actually does nothing but find the G spot. It's just like a little, uh, it, it like a, a waypoint. Gives you like it's like a compass. Ear force. Well, it's not as good of an ending without the ending music. Just to be fair, the ending music kind of makes it. Um, this is why they never made more Star Fox games that take place after this, aside from like a couple. is because they all flew into the sun. A sun. They flew into a star. So every other Star Fox team we've seen is like different. They just like pulled some different animals from the pond, like a different frog. And they did like, like they, they did like uh, gene, gene splicing and they like uh, fast forwarded the evolution of a, of a common frog. And they're like, all right, your name is Slippy now. Uh, the buttons aren't working. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just do a reset then. So you have random planets, allow same planets, random items. So death item is what I randomized, yeah? Protect the targets. Random. Oh, there, there's random bonus stages. So that was a bonus stage. Um, let's just do protect the targets real quick. Started with Venom. Okay. D pad left bonus stage. Oh, it's this one again. Okay. Great music, by the way. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, nuke on L. Venom 1, Venom 2, L to change planet. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, it, a cursor came up, but I, I couldn't select still. It's weird. This is the Independence Day level. They kept the geometry super, super simple on this level. It's basically just like a skybox and this. And I mean, the main reason for that is so they could have like a ton of ships on screen at the same time. And it, hey, it worked as, you know, as a kid, I thought this was like, wow, there's so many enemies on the screen. And then a giant fucking mothership appears, and then you have to destroy it. It's fun. But yeah, I guess that's that's good enough. That's the randomizer, so... It's pretty cool. I mean, uh, an enemy randomizer would definitely help. Some of the levels feel more fresh. It's got a lot of cool options, and... Um, yeah. Maybe there will be fur uh, further editions of this, I hope, one day. That'd be cool. But even so, it's nice to revisit the game, even if it means uh, nonsensical dialogue and doing the same level twice. Only at McDaniels. Now, I wanted to show you before we... Um, well, we'll do the BRB and then I'll show you something fun. Be right back. Couple minutes. 